just say a few words. Um, hi, my name is Norman. You may recognise me from previous conventions. Um, I'm, for my sins, <laughs> basically in charge of this bid, New Zealand 2020. Um, I've brought some more people with me this time. Kelly, <laughs> so, um, over here, is um, probably known to many of you. If you want to be seen on the video, you're going to need to move closer to the center. You are all out of shot. Lights. <laughs> Um, and uh, so these are people who are doing more with me. This is Marie, Marie Palatage, uh, Alan Parker, Sorry. Daniel Spector is around somewhere, or maybe not here. But um, I really apologize for not being in the finishing position. I was busy building an auditorium. Um, <coughs> so let's. Still progressing with the bid. Um, no quitting. <laughs> think, things are in flux a little bit in that there's um, it, the, uh, the primary possible convention venue in Auckland is, ex is expanding, but we haven't seen plans yet. Um, they don't have. They don't, sorry, they don't have plans yet. Hopefully, they will be available in a month or two. Um, but also, there's new, a new hotel potentially being built in Wellington has to be confirmed. So we're working that out. Our primary problem at the moment problem is we need uh, people to commit to helping run um, to, to helping run the run the convention, not the bid, the convention, which we're which I'm going to New Zealand for. Yes. Uh, we have had some very positive responses. The Second Legion Augusta, which is our Roman reenactment group in New Zealand, I got in contact with their head uh, centurion and I explained who I want what we were doing. He said at it one question. I said, okay. He said, can you set up a photo opportunity with a group of legionnaires charging a dialogue? <laughs> I went, well, yes, actually. I went to my school with Stephen Moffat and he has two dialects and he doesn't even say that. And he went, okay, we're in. And I'm like, but don't you want to hear about none? Just tell us where we went. Sheep, 
bring your own. <laughs> Tourism New Zealand have been behind us 100%. They've given us lots of information. They've uh, support sponsorship and sponsorship support. They call it support. Oh, sorry. Politics. You can't call it sponsorship. Support. They have been so so good to us. They look upon it as this whole sort of team effort. New Zealand <coughs> get behind this bit. Sorry, I mean Kakapo. No, is that catapo? Yes, catapo, uh, which is a type of bird. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if they fly in from the from the actually they're in there. I don't know. <laughs> See, that's my that, that's the best I can do. You mean the catapo? I don't know what the bird is. However, catapo, which is New Zealand's only poison spider, hangs out in the same place at the end of the year. One more question. <laughs> There are, um, sorry, I haven't the website open. There are, in, in Auckland, there are 6,000 hotel rooms. Near the convention. Uh, six, wait, wait, just, just let me talk, thank you. <laughs> there are 6,000 hotel rooms within 15 minutes, and um, about 2,000 within five, and the convention center has two hotels attached directly to it, which are about 900 rooms. Um, so 905, sorry, I <laughs> don't the notes in front of me. But it's, but it's almost <coughs> half of what we need directly attached <coughs> to the convention center. Uh, Wellington has uh, 2,000 within 2,000 rooms within 15 minutes, and um, uh, 500, 600 within one to, one to five minutes of, of the, uh, the convention. Walking, walking. Um, and in fact, in Wellington, there is a backpack that's directly on. Uh, for those of you who wish to go by to restaurants, you walk out <laughs> Okay. Your, your time is as far as it
Um, the Richard Day, Day, J. Daly Hotel will sadly be destroyed at that point. Um, no, oh, we, dear. <laughs> um, it, it, it is exceedingly unlikely that we will be at the Hyatt again, ever. Um, we've, got, we've had large panels about that. Those of you who heard it will know why. Any other questions? Behind yeah, questions. We have a ball pit. <laughs> I, I believe you will note that Chicago is home of the ball pit. Um, Chicago is, is a pretty good city for public transport. Um, the, the, the city lays out like the spokes of a wheel and our train system covers that well and there are buses to get you all over the place. Um, we don't have as much as New York City, but we don't need as much as New York City. Other than NYC, I believe Chicago is the best public transit in the United States. Great. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Morning, Please remember to repeat questions into the microphone. Please remember to repeat questions into the microphone. Particularly in light 
like this weekend. Fans want to come to a World City. So if it starts to look like you're going to get 5,000 people, can you expand to that degree? Yes, we can. Uh, there is another adventure center being built on site at the moment. That will have a main ballroom of over 5,000 theater stars. There is also, if that doesn't get built, there is a Disney arena there at the moment where they hold indoor football, basketball, and other sporting events. And that can seat 4,500 theater stars as well. So the backup plan is, if we do get beyond our size, we will be looking at using that main arena for the Hugo Awards and the main, and the, uh, and the main event in our school in the Hugo. Too far out at this time. I was asked what language we were looking at. At the moment, the, the big committee is the Anglo French Convention Committee. Um, we are it's a small team of five. We are looking for experience and we're, we're reaching out to uh, other, other continents around the world. We know French fandom is small. We know that French fandom and cannot pull this off alone and we're looking to put, to, to make this World Con a World Con. We know every year that all people from all over the world come together to help the run the World Con, and what we're trying to do in uh, 2023, basically. With um, Helsinki 2017, and um, the steam wheel that is Dublin in 1919. Um, hopefully that will bring... Yeah, 2019. <laughs> Our bid chair was looking at 2019 to go against Ireland and it took a lot of persuasion to shake some common sense into him and say, no, please, we don't want to do that, it's too scary, because we'll lose. Uh, so we only have time for one or two more questions. Then. On the subject of the um, languages, if, if it comes to it, does they already have everything in place for simultaneous translation, so it's possible that we could do multilingual? Yeah, there are translation groups. They are used to um, a lot of languages being spoken in. Um, all, all the cast members speak about three or four different languages, and, there is, and they do a lot of multinational conventions there with simultaneous translation with the uh, headset, so they will be able to do multi-stream programming in different languages if they, if they need to. But from my experience, anyone switches to edition when we're Given the multiple uh, convention centers that you mentioned, could you talk about how either compact or spread out the facilities will be in, in both in relation to the facilities yeah. and hotels the, and facilities? The two convention centers are opposite each other along the lake. It's a five minute walk between one convention center to the other convention center. <coughs> and it's about the same distance as this, this, this long atrium here. On the maps we've got there on stage, we'll have a look. It looks a long way, but it's only because the use of force perspective that is allowed to do, it looks a long distance, it's only a five minute walk. The train station, the RER station that takes you from the Eurostar, uh, from the UK, the TGV from Charles de Gaulle, and the RER from Paris is only an eight minute walk to the convention centre. Um, and everything is very close. It's a five minute walk, there's 20 restaurants nearby, and, they, and, and there is a barbecue restaurant as well. <laughs> <laughs> One more question. We have a little bit. Um, our bid chair is Celine Rial, and she doesn't actually work on World Cup, she does all organise a literature festival in, in, in France, or that basically it brings in about 3,000 people every year with multi stream programs, and she does have some, some experience of that. Um, on the UK side of things, we have um, Chris O'Shea, who's been uh, Easter Con co chair and also worked on a few World Cups. Um, our advisors at the moment are um, Emilio Ario from Finland. Who's and um, Adam Beaton from the United States, uh, Mike Sparks from the Hague, and, and you all know it's out in the desert somewhere in the room. Um, and myself, um, I helped with the UK Club find World Cup bid and traveling around with the attending conventions throughout the day and flying back in. So, so we've got a bit of World Cup experience, but we are it's a small committee, it's, it's, it's nine years out, and we've got seven years towards the bid. We're hoping to get more people involved, more experience to help us bring the World Cup to Paris. Thank you. So I hope we'll move on to uh, other business at this point. Um, I have your Paris uh, USB set here. Um, uh, whatever convenient is up here. Uh, so the only thing remaining uh, relates committee appointments. Uh, 
So, committee, this is the list of committees. We eliminated the hero committee. So, moving on specifically, uh, this is the Mark Protection Committee. I, I, I believe this is that correct. I had a slight crash of PowerPoint before this, so I had to hopefully have it covered. The only new information on here is that uh, Kansas City, the 2016 World Con, has appointed Mark Olson as their representative to the Mark Protection Committee. Uh, this also shows the results of the elections uh, yesterday. Uh, other committee is the nitpicking and vice president committee. Uh, so I'm appointing Kevin Stanley chair, and the membership is uh, Jared Dashoff, myself, Tim Ellingworth, and Jesse Pershing. I actually, I changed my mind. <laughs> so uh, let's edit this slide. Because uh, Mr. Sandley is chairing the business meeting next year, I'm appointing myself chair. Apparently, <laughs> considering it was the chair that's just been deposed who suggested it. Um, the World Commoners Guide Editorial Committee is continuing uh, unchanged. Uh, the, the chair continues to have the authority to appoint new members. Uh, here is my way. This the formalization of long list entries committee it also continues unchanged, with the chair having the authority to continue authority to appoint new members. This is the uh, new Neil McGill Hugo Study Committee. Appoint uh, Katie Rask as chair, and the members list is there. And the chair has the authority to appoint the members as before. I'll leave that up for, for a second if people want to look at it. Chairman, uh, my last name has two L's in it. Okay. Mike Wilman. Okay. Um, I'll fix it. Thank you. Uh, so there, I think, may only be one person I didn't add. If these people have some good reason to believe I don't have their email address uh, on these lists, uh, or the chair doesn't really, it's more, more important. Uh, they should communicate that. Um, they can also, if people who wanted to be on the committee and aren't there, they should contact the chair, um, who in both cases has the authority to appoint new members. Um, so those are the two uh, really new committees. I believe with that announcement, uh, that concludes the business of the uh, all the well, it'll be, I'm sure the business meeting for this First off, the former Worldcon Chair's photo session will be held as soon as we can get things rearranged up here. We're going to need help because where we're here right now is one of the only practical places to do it. So we're going to need hands to move these chair tables off to the side long enough to have chairs up here to take the photo and then put it all back together again. And once we've done with that, then the uh, Whistles Park Protection Committee will meet in here as soon as we can after we get the photo session done. So I hope people can help us with the uh, logistics of getting this done. Thank you. Uh, there isn't a, the, the, we didn't have the regular attendance list. There is an attendance list up front. If you came in late and didn't find on there, you should come up to the table to be sure you're listed on the attendance list. And if you want, 
wanted a printed agenda. There's a stack of them over there, and if you don't get it now, it is it will they be too late because the rest of them will be thrown away. Uh, there are still uh, business meeting attendee ribbons at the table. Feel free to take one if you didn't before. Uh, so that concludes all the announcements. Any other items of business or announcements anybody wishes to make? Hearing none, I declare the business meeting. Hearing none, I declare the meeting. This is meeting adjourned. This evening.